Solar freaking roadways. What are they? They're solar freaking roadways. What do they want from me? Well, they're solar freaking roadways. Okay, so actually this time, what is it? It's technology that replaces all roadways, parking lots, sidewalks, driveways, tarmacs, bike paths, and outdoor recreation surfaces with solar panels. And not just lifeless, boring solar panels. Smart, microprocessing, interlocking, hexagonal solar units. No more useless asphalt and concrete just sitting there baking in the sun, needing to be repaved, and filling with potholes that ruin your axle alignment on your sweet ride, bro. These are intelligent solar panels. Replace the panel at a time if damaged or malfunctioning. They're covered with a new tempered glass material that has been designed and tested to meet all impact, load, and traction requirements. Oh, and did I mention that they're also solar panels? They generate electricity. They generate capital. They pay for themselves, and they keep paying more because we're not going to run out of sun for like 15 billion years. That lowers the cost of energy, unlike those bills in the mail that keep going up. And it's clean energy. Everyone can theoretically drive an electric car with no pollution and a minimal carbon footprint. Can you imagine how good our cities would smell? How much healthier we'd all be? Excuse me, young man. Am I being led to believe that this thing is some sort of thing? Yes, it's a thing. A real thing. And clean energy is only its primary function. Grab a notepad, because this is where it gets interesting. For those in the north, the panels use energy they collect to power elements to keep the surface temperature a few degrees above freezing. They're heated. No more ice and snow on roads causing traffic delays, accidents, and injury. No more shoveling your driveway and sidewalk. No salt corroding your car or wasting tax money on snow removal. And you can ride your bike or drive your motorcycle all year round. Whoa! Every panel has a series of LED lights on the circuit board that can be programmed to make lanescape designs, warning signs, parking lot configurations, whatever. These roads never have to have lanes repainted, just reprogrammed to whatever we choose or whatever works best. Imagine a highway road lighting up ahead of you. How much safer it would be to drive at night. There'd be improved visibility for pilots landing on solar landing strips. Imagine walking onto a solar recreation court and choosing a sports configuration. Wanna play basketball? Cool. Kids wanna play hopscotch in Foursquare? Awesome. Ball hockey? Done. And with LED D lights under your feet, it's gonna look like freaking Tron out there. But real, because this is the real world. Whoa. But these panels are also pressure sensitive, so they can detect when large debris like branches or boulders have fallen onto the road, or if an animal is crossing. It can warn drivers with LED text to slow down for an obstruction. I'm very, you know, environmentally conscious. Good, because solar roadways use as much recycled material in their production as possible. Plus, the roadways have two channels that form what's called a cable corridor that runs concurrently with the roadways themselves. One part houses electrical cables, meaning power lines, data lines, fiber optics, and high-speed internet, which replaces the need for telephone poles and hanging wires that can be damaged during storms causing power outages or become extremely dangerous if severed either as fallen live wires or buried cables. The other channel captures and filters storm water and melted snow, moving them either to a treatment facility or treating them on site, greatly decreasing the amount of pollution that enters our soil, lakes, rivers, and oceans. Uh, I'm kind of broke, bruh. Yeah, no kidding. The economy is in the toilet. Do you realize how many thousands of jobs this could create and sustain? Talk about a hypodermic adrenaline shot to the heart of the manufacturing and infrastructure sector. And it pays for itself. They're solar freaking roadways. Um, I have concerns about the future. Is this thing even possible? I told you, yes. Solar roadway technology was invented by engineering couple Julie and Scott Broussard in 2006. Two of the sweetest people in the world who met when they were three and four years old. Listen to these two. Hi, we're Scott and Julie Broussard, inventors of solar roadways. We met in the 1960s when we were three and four years old. These wonderful, intelligent people people want to begin manufacturing a technology that can power the future of the whole freaking planet. They were awarded a contract from the Federal Highway Administration to build two prototypes which are now complete. They're too humble and wonderful to yell at you over the internet, so I'm gonna do it. You need to know about this technology. You need to get behind it. You need to share it with everyone you know, because this is actually happening. Whoa! the technology should be seamless and it should give you more from the experiences you love. Our technology fundamentally enhances human capability. Call from Sarah. Turn left in 20 miles.
Scully is the future. Join the revolution. I came up with the idea for a translator when I met a French girl. That's really where the story starts. I was on vacation and I met this girl. It was difficult for us to communicate because she didn't speak English very well. And even when we tried to find a solution, like using some translation app to communicate, it was horrible. Look, if you and I are speaking and our phones are in our face like this, forget it. This is a wall. We're out of this real world interaction. But this, in your ear, puts us right back in it. Hello, Dee. Uh, put this in your ear. Je mets ça dans mon oreille? Yeah, put it in your ear. Comme ça? Yeah. Okay. Can you hear me in French? Pouvez-vous me entendre en français? Ah oui! Mais je peux vous entendre parler français? Yes, I can hear you talk French. Attends, comment ça se fait? But this is awesome. But how you do it? Yeah, it's translating. It's translating. This little wearable uses translation technology to allow two people to speak different languages, but still clearly understand each other. Simply put, when one person speaks, the other hears it in their language. Developing the pilot has been an intensive process. Our team has been working on it for over two years. Andrew is our original co-founder and oversees product development. I'm an electrical engineer and expert in manufacturing. We also have a mechanical engineer, software engineer, PhD in machine translation, as well as an industrial designer. Our wide breadth of experts has allowed us to develop a product from the ground up. We wanted to create something that hugs the curves of the air without being obtrusive. Something snug but fashionable to wear. In the process, we just decided to throw in an extra earpiece for wireless streaming music. That means the full system includes two earpieces and its accompanying app. It's from the app itself where all of the languages are uploaded to the earpiece. It's kind of an end-all solution for the traveler or the international professional. That's what we're doing here at Waverly Labs. It's simply the most advanced communication wearable. This Indiegogo campaign helps us finish what we started. We can get the earpieces along with this portable charger manufactured and delivered within a year. The app works on its own if you just want to use the app for basic translation. And we'll have the app out by late summer first for our backers here on Indiegogo. But for the full experience, you really want the earpieces too. It's the dream, you know? A life untethered, free of language barriers. It's just that it's no longer a dream anymore. It's real.